every now and then, not very often, there is a moment that changes one's life. One of these occurred in 1995, when for the first time I was in the theater of the young spectator in Moscow, and met in his white room, Karma Ginkas. We talked about Kai from Prime, and I began to realize that here was a man totally committed and meticulous in every detail. And his English at that time was broken, but my Russian was useless. <laughs> but here we are discussing his idea for Kai from Crime and how it works in this room. So, a few days later, I find myself photographing this production unlike any I've seen before. I love the, the scale of it and the great changes in contrast between going, coming from the outside in the foyer and the confrontation at the door and then suddenly being herded into the room. This, I didn't understand then, was the beginning. <laughs> and it has continued to this day. And it has gone through many fascinating phases. Taken me to many different cities, including Kaunas. Kaunas was interesting. It was one of the um, the cycle, the uh, short stories, and we were there. And I'd asked Karma to take me through his childhood on the streets, and this is what we did with a group of actors in tow. We went from place to place, inside buildings, unbelievably inside the hospital where he was hidden during the war. And it was just so revealing. Here I was with a man whose experience of life was totally different to mine, but who brought to perfection a visual mind as well as a dramatic mind. And uh, I am so thankful for that first moment. Did you, have you shot any other shows besides those? Yes, many, many shows have been shot. Um, virtually every one, Pushkin and Jewel Death is one. Um, and uh, The Black Monk, through quite a few occasions in quite a few places. Um, incidentally, Kai from Crime, um, I also saw in Georgia in, and in New York. Um, and uh, my only disappointment in all of this is that still nobody in Britain has discovered what a great director we have here. <laughs> And uh, what an opportunity so far has been lost, but there's still time, there's still time. <laughs> what is it about Kama's direction that strikes you as a photographer? You, you're you looking for visual images. What is it that made you connect with Kama Ginkas? I'm looking for visual images that um, are, are, in a sense, unusual, but not... Um, not deliberately strange. In other words, they have to be related to what is happening. Um, and the way people move on stage in relation to each other, um, the intensity, of course, is, is, is the first priority always. Um, and these are actors who it's fascinating. I've watched late rehearsals a, a, a week once, and he etched, edged it up every night, a bit more, a bit more, um, until, I, and, and you know, through the camera you can see this, you can see that this is the same actor as yesterday, but something has been shifted a gear up, um, until by the, the first performance you, you're in top gear. <laughs> And it's a, it's a great psychological skill to do this.